A photoelectric experiment was performed using three different metal plates P, Q and R having work functions 2 electron volt, 2.5 electron volt and 3 electron volt. We know that work function is the minimum amount of energy required to emit the electron from the photoelectric plate. Now, a light beam containing wavelengths of 550 nanometers, 450 nanometers and 350 nanometers with equal intensities illuminates each of these plates. We will first find out the energy possessed by these wavelengths to check whether they can emit the electrons or not using the wave functions of the three plates. We know that the energy possessed by the light is given by E is equal to Hc by lambda. Where H is the Planck's constant, C is the speed of light and lambda is the wavelength. For the first case, lambda is equal to 550 nanometer. Substituting this value, we get E1 is equal to 2.25 electron volts. For the second case, lambda 2 is equal to 450 nanometer. For this, E2 is equal to 2.76 electron volts. And for the third case, lambda 3 is equal to 350 nanometers. Substituting this value of lambda, we get E3 is equal to 3.54 electron volts. So, in the case of plate P, all three wavelengths are capable of ejecting the electrons. In case of plate Q, only two wavelengths are capable of ejecting the electrons. And in case of R, only one wavelength can eject the electrons. So, plate P will have the maximum electrons emitted and plate R will have the minimum number of electrons emitted. Therefore, for a given potential, plate P will have the maximum current and as the potential increases, the maximum current will get saturated. Similarly, for plate R, the current will be minimum and for high potential, the current will get saturated. Therefore, option A is the correct answer.